So the bad news is I blew up the inverter. Let's come in close here. Uh, this is a solar inverter. This is a Delta Solar City H6 inverter, and it was originally designed with a battery input uh, for the original Tesla Powerwall. Um, I got this cheap because uh, you can't get those first generation Tesla Powerwalls anymore, and it doesn't really work with anything else. But we did discover that the photovoltaic input is high voltage, and this thing will run without a battery connected. So I've been experimenting taking my car and a 3D printed Chatamo connector, which we got right here, uh, to draw power out of the car in through the photovoltaic input and then convert it to uh, AC power, 240 volt split phase, 120, 240, and run lights, charge other electric cars, power my entire garage or house or whatever. Um, until the other day when it stopped working. And here's what the issue was. I was working on trying to get things cleaned up because we're less than a week away from the MREA Energy Fair. So I set up this box and this box. This is my switches for kind of the manual controls to kick on the Chatamo. And then in this box, we've got a few things like um, a pair of touch-free fuses, a contactor, a 12 volt lithium battery to power the relays. And back behind there is a pre-charge resistor. And the pre-charge resistor and contactor, those actually came out of a uh, Nissan Leaf battery pack. So all those parts were already ready for 360 volt DC, which was pretty much perfect, except for me to really get this all cleaned up and wired up and everything, I had to disconnect a number of the wires and unfortunately, this type of code, uh, the cord, the color code for it is totally different than regular DC. And I think what happened is I accidentally hooked up the polarity to the PV input reverse polarity. Now, the good news is it didn't blow up um, because I've got the fuses that are right in here and also one directly inside the Chatamo handle. So I've got this fuse so that this is absolutely as close as I could get a power cut off, you know, literally right here, um, that the fuse is just blue. And the fuses I used were these fast blow solar fuses. So this actually came with fuses here. Um, I originally used those and then I got a few more. Of course, by now I've messed around with this so much that I am um, working on this and then trying to figure out how to fix it after um, that reverse polarity incident, I have uh, gone through a few fuses and these are all rated for 600 volts DC fast blow. Um, so I was very disappointed that um, I probably wouldn't be able to show this off at the energy fair. Um, I even messed around with a, another bit of inverter power supply that I had off of Alibaba. That didn't work, had issues with it. But then I had an idea, and that is if we look here in our input diagram, there's actually two photovoltaic inputs in here, and each of those has like an A and a B on it. And what I did was I used my multimeter and I, I troubleshot this to find out that on my primary input, the positive and negative were directly shorted to each other, which made me think maybe somewhere up here in the power section, uh, a, a MOSFET or IGBT, whatever electronic switches used in this, were shorted directly to each other. And that's game over, the thing's not gonna work anymore. So of course, anytime I tried to fix this, I would just blow another set of fuses and be out the money of that and also the time to mail order new ones. And then I thought, well, wait a minute, what about this second PV input? And I tested that also uh, with my continuity meter and I found that that was not shorted to one another the way the PV1 was. So I said, uh, okay, I'm not using PV input one anymore. Instead, I hooked up to my PV input two and behold, aha, it worked again. So now I'm excited that I should be able to show this project off at the energy fair and I'm not out all the money that I spent buying this unit in the first place and everything else. Uh, but again, the good news was the safety features all worked properly. 
Uh, the fuses here and the fuse in the Chetamo connector, they all blew. It was incredibly unspectacular. You can't even see those fuses are blown. You have to test them with a continuity meter even to notice when, what went wrong. But I uh, should be able to get this all back together and next time probably just power my entire house off of it. Otherwise, we'll see you at the MREA Energy Fair.